What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today, we're looking at the top five streamers who caught ghosts live on their stream. Now, if you're watching this at night, I gotta say, I feel really sorry for you, as some of the clips in this video are pretty unexplainable. Something else you might find unexplainable is our free Amazon gift card giveaway. We are literally giving away free money, so click the link in the description, do the three steps, and be entered in. Also, make sure to leave a like on this video if you'd like to see a part two to this. If we can break 5,000 likes, we'll definitely consider doing it. With that said, let's get right into the video. That'd be, that'd be crazy. Number five, that'd be Sir Gary Tube. Sir Gary Tube, what? Some ghosts seem to exist just to cause chaos for people. But by the looks of he things, this one just wanted some peace and quiet. Behind him. Sir Gary Tube was streaming some Pokemon and complaining about some pain he had been feeling recently, when suddenly things took a scary turn. A shiny With no warning, the door swung shut behind him, causing him immediately to look around to figure out what's happening. His roommate wasn't home at the time, so it couldn't have been him, and the movement of the door was too slow for it to have been pushed by the wind. Even creepier, watching the footage back, you can see the door actually closes again when he leaves the room. And that's something even Gary himself wasn't aware of until he uploaded the video. You can see from his reaction that he's super freaked out. He keeps looking around the room like he just can't believe what's going on. Anyway, if it is a ghost, it doesn't actually seem very threatening. It seems more interested in keeping the house in order than haunting anyone. Like, as long as Gary keeps it down when he's streaming, next time he'll probably be fine. Dude, my foot is... It's always something with me. My foot is killing me right now. Granted, I did drop my phone on it. And my phone... Um, did anybody else fucking see that? So we went, we went out and check it out, and I'm guessing we went out there to check it out, okay? And like he said, the good door shuts again. That's crazy, dude. Number four, Thor Hughes. It seems like this ghost was not a big fan of Thor Hughes' videos, as its response to him streaming was about as close to a threat as you can get. Thor was just finishing up his stream and talking about how much he'd enjoy the game and his progress when something obviously disagreed with him. Something flew off the shelf behind him, and when he turned around to look, he realized it was his Thor doll. Now when a ghost pushes a toy you share a name with off a very high place, you kinda gotta assume it's bad news. Thor even joked in the comments that he had a poltergeist, and he really might because it doesn't look like there's anything in the room that could make the toy jump off that shelf like that. However, it's cool that he could kinda joke about it, as when it first happened, he seemed just as scared as he was confused. Honestly, there's lots of stories of possessed dolls and toys out there, but this might be the first time I've heard of a Marvel character getting possessed and going over to the dark side. Ah, uh, well, guys, if you have. The fuck was that? But yeah, the door shuts, shuts by itself behind me sometimes. Did you guys see why. that? I don't know why. Yeah, we saw that. Number three, Con Man. I never heard of these Twitch streamers, by the way. So far, the ghosts on this list have all been interacting with stuff in the real world, but this sighting is so much weirder than that. The Con Man is just chatting, complaining about the insanely long ad breaks and wrestling while he waits for them to end, and then something pretty creepy distracts him from the waiting. While he's talking, a long streak of what looks like white light ends the frame on his right and floats towards the door. Like it can't be a camera issue since he sees it in real life and it doesn't look like a reflection either. To his credit, he keeps it pretty cool and laughs at the weirdness of the experience off, but in the comments he says that he was finding it hard to keep calm. To be honest, I can't blame him. If some unexplained light creature barged in my room while I was streaming, I'd probably freak out too. If it was a ghost, though, it must have been a pretty calm one, as it seemed happy to just float through the room and get wherever it needed to be. Nothing break over an entrance, right? And then have somebody enter after that and not have the commercial break during the match. Like, you know what I mean? Like... Did anybody else just see that? That was weird. That was weird. I could have swore I saw like this white line run and just like fall down back. Okay, I want to run it back a little bit. Weird. That was weird. I could have swore I saw like this back a little more. Obviously. Break over an entrance, right? And then have somebody enter after that and not have a commercial break during the match. Like you know what I mean? Like I can't see anything. Did anybody else just see that? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. That was weird. 
that was weird. I could have swore I saw like this white line run and just like fall down back here. Commercial break during the match. Like you know what I mean? Oh no. Like, that was weird. There's like this big long white line just like float down. That was okay. weird. Yeah. Number two, Rubsy. I never heard of this guy. Okay, there have been some pretty scary encounters so far. This guy but if this next one happened to me, I wouldn't have stayed in the house long enough to figure out if it was actually a ghost. Earphones, though. Rubsy was house-sitting for a friend when everything went down, but he said later on that he checked for cameras and mics and that it definitely wasn't a prank planned by one of his friends. While he was streaming, the door slowly opened behind him and then it slammed shut with an insanely loud bang. This made him jump so hard his headphones fell off and he almost screamed, but things only got worse from there. Despite being alone in the house, the hallway light flicked on without him touching it. And then when he switched it off, it turned back on all by itself. The third time it happened, the door swung open and slammed shut even louder than before, almost as if it was done just to scare him. Like Things got even crazier when a box off the table rocketed on the floor, but Rubsy just kept playing Skyrim despite all the craziness that was going on around him. Even when the chairs started moving all by themselves, he decided to stay in the house, so you kind of have to give him credit for that as it seemed like the ghost definitely wanted him gone. Uh. Yeah, that was a tragic story of my, uh, my bringing down of my, <laughs> my, my dearest Lydia. Uh, oh! The fuck was that? Yeah, Come I was out. in that apartment. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving out as soon as I possibly can. Um, if I live in that part, I'd be moving out as soon as I possibly can. <laughs> Dude, the light, you just turned it off and it went back on? I'll be moving out <laughs> as soon as I possibly can, so, yeah. Number one, Ripped Robbie. Most streamers on this list seem shocked when a ghost shows up to interrupt things, but this guy seems fully aware that he's basically at the start of a horror movie. According to him, crazy things happen in his house all the time, with his tripod falling over and his YouTube plaque falling off the wall for no reason constantly. I don't, now, I'm not saying my house is definitely haunted, but yeah, believe it or not, I've, I've heard some weird sounds in here. Just, and I've heard a few times where the floor closed shut. There actually there are times where a balloon actually made its own, made its own way into my room by itself. I, I don't really understand. Alright, moving, <laughs> moving on. However, on this particular night, it seems like whatever had been messing with him so far decided to kick it into high gear. There are constant low-level thumps on the walls and closet door, and the Wi-Fi seems to be affected too as both his Xbox and Skype seem to be constantly dropping out. That's right. Even worse, the ghost only cuts off his Skype when he says he's going to go investigate, essentially cutting him off from his friend completely. Things get more and more intense until eventually there's a huge bang, one that knocks over his mic and tripod as well as knocking things off the wall. People in the chat seem convinced that it's the Babadook, and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they were right. It's foam and my YouTube. Oh no, real shit, real shit. I was in here recording, and that fucking YouTube plaque fell randomly, dude. Like, like that thing's on there pretty fucking good. And then uh, my mirror in my bathroom fell. I don't. Like a bunch of shit is just randomly just falling over. My fucking camera stand, three legs like this, and my fucking camera stand falls. Fuck out of here. See, you're the reason why pe people pick on me so much, dude. Okay, so I think that ghost, <laughs> guess, that yeah. ghost girl might, might be a clickbait just because. I don't see it. Dude! Dude, stop! And there's a video on the top five streamers who. Alright, but. Yeah, this house might be haunted because honestly, I, I do some weird stuff like. The door being closed, um, stuff underneath my. I even hear stuff underneath my bed. I, 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 I was thinking maybe the dog was under I looked under there, he was not under there, so... Yeah, weird stuff does happen around here, and honestly, I kinda wanna move out and live on my own. I don't wanna live here anymore. So, yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.